Well, some big news came out today uh, concerning Twitch, NVIDIA, and live streaming. And I think it's important because this kind of changes the direction of how we live stream on Twitch in terms of settings and how we approach our thinking about bitrate and that sort of thing. And it also makes us think about hardware to be used in our streaming PC. So let's talk about it right now. All right, well, if you haven't heard, NVIDIA announced at CES today that they and OBS Studio, along with Twitch, are working on a way to do enhanced broadcasting. What does that mean? Well, it's pretty simple. They're going to allow you to send different resolutions and encodes to Twitch using NVIDIA video cards. That's something that's kind of NVIDIA's had available in RTX cards for a while now but it looks like Twitch is finally taking advantage of the technology. So you're able to send multiple encodes to Twitch at one time. So what is this gonna do for Twitch? Well, what, basically what it does is it allows Twitch, instead of them doing transcoding and just giving it to uh, certain individuals like they do with partners, that's one, that was one of the benefits of being a partner was guaranteed transcoding where viewers can choose their own experience based on their connection speed. Uh, unfortunately for people like us who don't have transcoding guaranteed, we have to consider the type of resolution that we stream to Twitch and the bit rate that we use so that people can have the best experience possible. Well, now with this, we can now control that and we can send multiple encodes and bit rates to Twitch and that will allow the viewer to get the best experience without having to worry about buffering and that sort of thing. And let's be honest, it's a business move for Twitch because now they can limit the amount of transcoding that they give out and eventually they may even phase it out. Now they're saying in their, in their FAQs for this on their blog that uh, they are going to still keep transcoding for partners, but I can see down the road when they figure out how much money that they can save by passing the buck on to us, that uh, they can eventually phase out transcoding. But they did say uh, currently that they are going to keep it with partners. But that does give everybody now the ability to control their own experience for their viewers, which I think is actually really nice. And on top of that, they're also testing AV1 and HEVC through this beta version of OBS. Now they've given you a link to that you can sign up for this right now. And what that is, is it's going to be a beta version of OBS that supports this enhanced broadcasting. So you will be actually testing OBS and providing feedback. So what do you need to do this? Well, really any RTX card will do. Uh, I have a RTX 4060, so I should, should be perfectly fine with that. And for AV1, you will need a 4000 series RTX. But for the enhanced broadcasting, I think it's any RTX will work just fine. So if you are interested, I'll provide a link down below where you can sign up uh, with Twitch for this. And it's a, they basically say it's a first come, first serve thing. So get in as early as you can, and hopefully you'll get signed up. You'll get a... You'll sign up, it'll tell you that you're registered, and basically you'll know you made it if they send you an email so that you can download the version of OBS that you need to do this. So I think it's a really good idea. Uh, there is some issues with it though, and some things that you need to think about. They said that using the, basically the uh, automated setup inside of OBS, and it'll set up between four and 10,000 uh, for your bit rate. And that's going to be the max. They're not going to give you more than 10,000. So think about it. If you have three different resolutions that you're going to want to stream, say uh, 1440p, 1080p, and 720p, you have to use a maximum of 10,000 or 10, uh, 10,000 kilobits per second between those three to do that. So that's a big deal. That, that could kind of hinder the quality of your different encodes. So you need might need to be able to prioritize that. I don't know the details on how you're going to be able to control that manually. You may be able to go in and set your bit rate for each one of those different resolutions separately. 
or if you have to, you know, depend on the wizard to be able to do, do it for you. That I don't know yet. I will let you know as soon as I get the beta version of this OBS. I'm assuming that in it, you would be able to go and manually set this up yourself and you would be able to control what gets the most bit rate, which makes perfect sense to me. You know, and in this case, for me, I would send like a 1440p 60 stream using AV1. You know, so anyway. That is the news. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, comment below what your thoughts are on it. I think it's a good move moving forward for Twitch. Um, so that means that, you know, we will be seeing AV1 go public on Twitch here a lot sooner than I was expecting. I was really not expecting it till you know, maybe around TwitchCon this year. But it looks like they're pushing forward with it pretty quickly. And if they've got a beta version of OBS out there to support it, I think it's coming down the road pretty soon. So anyway. That is it for me. Again, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope y'all have a great week. Be safe out there. And we will see you later.